And increased testing and contact tracing are key to a rebound. So what is contact tracing? How does it work? How will it work? And what will it look like as we move to the next phase of this response? Denver 7's Jessica Porter breaks it down. Agencies across the state are preparing to possibly track and investigate COVID-19 cases after the state lifts stay at home orders. Denver Public Health is currently not doing contact tracing for COVID-19, but spoke to me about what the process will look like. When we interview them, we get a list of every single person that they've been in contact with. Um, and then we reach out to those people. We call them and tell them, you know, hey, you could have potentially been exposed to COVID-19. So what is the goal for contact tracing? Health officials hope to limit the spread of COVID-19 and use the data to make informed public policy decisions. Just really try to ensure that we're keeping these little like cohorts of people, these groups of people from infecting the community outward. What information is collected? Health officials may verify name, address, and even your date of birth, but will not ask for a social security number or financial information. What can you expect if you are called? Health officials will often advise going into quarantine. So we talk to people and tell them, you know, until X date, so 14 days after they were exposed, keep an eye out for these symptoms. Um, we try to answer questions. We try to provide resources. Some people might not feel comfortable sharing the contact information of a loved one. Is it voluntary? We can work with our partners at the Denver Department of Public Health and Environment. Um, and th which is our regulatory agency in Denver to force that information if we think it's a public health risk to not get it. Finally, how is the information collected? Healthcare workers typically do interviews over the phone with COVID-19 patients and those they've come into contact with. But a few big tech companies want to use cell phone data to anonymously text COVID-19 infection status information. Many other public health agencies are hiring new workers and even using students to implement a contact tracing system across the state. Jessica Porter, Denver.